the Edge of Night is a storytelling show at Eddie's Attic this February the 17th at 10 p.m. Tickets are $5. It's a part of the Southern Order of Storytellers 30th Annual Storytelling Festival. This year it's in downtown Decatur and we are so excited to be at Eddie's Attic. One of our tellers this year is Tim Bangs. Tim, to look at him, you'd never imagine that these sorts of thoughts have passed through his mind. I was a, a 21 year old virgin and I've been dating Vicki all summer long. Towards the end of the summer, the clock is ticking. <laughs> so we had the, the argument that you would expect, you know, the, the begging, the pleading, you know, take this to the next level, and then, you know, <laughs> horizontal level. <laughs> There was, there, there was the begging and the pleading and the crying and the gnashing of teeth. But I refused to give in. I mean, I Barb's kisses, the, the plain Jane, were just gentle and sweet and, and tender. And, and somehow her, her lips were both pliable and firm. And it was, it was wonderful. And, and then there was Vicky, the little sex kitten, who kissing her was like having an unpeeled banana stuck in your mouth. Now, I told you, Tim has a way with the girls. Now, one thing I really wish I had been able to witness was Tim horsing around with his brother and the neighbor kids. Have a listen. When we were kids and the neighborhood would come down to our house to play with my brother and me and my older brother. We would play cowboys and Indians. And I never got to be the Lone Ranger or uh, you know, Josh Randall or Johnny Yuma. You kids don't even know who these people are. <laughs> the Rifleman, I, I never got to be him. I was always the Indian. And, and not, not Tonto, just the anonymous target. <laughs> I got shot, beat up, tied up, captured, kind of a catch and release thing. We got 2011 brought a new storyteller to Carapace, and that's Marilyn Bowden. And boy is she a hoot. Have a listen to a little tale about a pet shop in Midtown. I used to go to the Siam Pet Zoo late at night because it was much like Midtown itself. It was wild and dangerous. And I had just fled the pink ghetto apartments of Smyrna where all the other stewardesses lived. And I came to Midtown and it was just like this particular pet shop, just dangerous and wild. <clears throat> I used to take dates to the Siam Pet Zoo late at night to determine their potential. And I could tell between, <laughs> I could always tell where they might fit in my life between two particular indicators and they were the dirty birds and there was one particular parrot in the front of the store and he was about yay big and he only knew one phrase and he repeated it to everybody that walked in the door hey mother hey mother but there was another bird in the back and she wasn't near as pretty but she had an entire repertoire of sexually suggestive phrases <laughs> and there was no mistaking no, baby, let me do it. Let me do it. <laughs> that they were obviously learned honest. And sometimes she would say, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. This is going to be a great storytelling show. I can't wait to see you there. Friday, February the 17th, 10 p.m., Eddie's Attic. Tickets are $5. Get them in advance at www.southernorderofstorytellers.org. Can't wait to see you there.